Yeah, Jack. Keep it there. That's for thyself to breed another thee. Or ten times happier, be it ten for one. Ten times thyself were happier than thou art. If ten of thine ten times refigured thee, then what could death do if thou should depart, leaving thee living in posterity? Be not self-willed, for thou art much too fair to be death's conquest and make worms thine heir. And with that, I bid you all a fond farewell. Don't forget to look at the early sonnets. Midterms are coming up. I know, I know, I love you all too. Amy, right? Yeah. You have a really good memory since I don't take your classes anymore. Well, you're sorely missed. What can I do for you? Um, I'm having trouble in one of my other classes. Oh, yeah? Which one? Theoretical parapsychology. Ah, uh, Pittman's class, the uh, human tranquilizer. Yeah. Not really my area of expertise, but what can I do to help? Um, I was wondering if 
You could maybe talk to him for me? And tell him what a wonderful person you are? Something like that. Well, I see. Uh, I know that you play chess with him from time to time. Do you? And I know that you professors help each other out. Do we now? Well, that's what I've heard. Well, maybe you could uh, come over for dinner tonight. I can open a bottle of wine and we can talk about your little problem. Dinner? Yeah, I have an old and expensive bottle of wine that's just begging to be opened. I see. So I come and have dinner with you and then you'll talk to Pittman for me? Yeah, I might even let him win the next game. Well, I'm supposed to be moving in with my boyfriend this weekend and I have a lot of packing to do. <sighs> Your boyfriend? Seems like a very lucky guy. He is. Well, that's too bad. I was going to talk to Pittman for you. Well, I guess I could come over for an hour or so. Mm, an hour, huh? Well, I did say or so. Am I going to spend the whole night unpacking boxes? Not the whole night. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I thought you were getting straight A's in Pittman's class. I am. But I bet him 20 bucks he'd win his next chess game. Mm, if only you could use your powers for good instead of evil. Did you talk to the super about the water pressure? Mm, it's on my forget-to-do list. Okay. So I'll come over tonight. But it can really only be for an hour because I still have a shitload of packing to do. Can't wait. Okay. All right. Bye. Uh. I am one lucky son of a bitch. What are you doing here? I just came by to talk. To me? No, actually, I was hoping to talk to your cat. Is your cat around? Yeah, to you. Yeah. Uh, want a beer? It's 10 a.m. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, what's up? All right. Well, you know how Amy's moving in today, right? Yeah. Well, I was thinking about uh, kicking it up a notch and uh, making it more permanent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. What? Have you completely lost your mind? What? Dude, you've got a sexy young student moving in with you, right? And you want to spoil it all by... Marry Don't that? say it, dude. You, you're... Look, you're buying the, the, the milk. What? The, you know, from the cow. Oh, the, getting you're the... You're buying the, you're buying buying the, the milk. milk, you know, and the cow is like... No, buying the cow. Buying the cow. Buying the cow when the milk is... Free. Yeah. Yeah, buying the, buying cow, the cow and buying the, the cow and milk. Yeah, exactly it. Oh, man. You know why I'm not married? <laughs> Want me to start from the top? Look, I'm 40 years old, right? I got a young, sexy girlfriend in her 20s. I've got a good job. I'm independent. Ah! I got... Take the garbage out. Mom, I'm with a friend! You think I'm going to throw that all away and spoil it to, to you know, marry mm -hmm. somebody? Oh, man, you really got to think this through. I have thought about it, and she's the one. Yeah, because your mind's all screwed up right now. But, I mean, what happens if Elsie and yeah, Amy. Amy in a couple of years changes? Women change. You even have your own place. Most people our age do, Carl. All I'm saying is you got to think this through. I've thought it through, and I'm not going to change my mind. All right. Well, I know you well enough to know that uh, when you make up your mind about something, you're not going to change it. If you're sure about it, then go for it, buddy. Whatever's going to make you happy, right? Mm-hmm. Now, if you'll excuse me, 
I have the garbage to take out. One? Pretty much. I still got small boxes of shoes and stuff, but I can get it. What's in this thing anyway? Bricks? Cast iron figurines? Oh, let's see. Uh, rituals of the moon, shadows and magic, and what's this? Ah, magic rituals three. And magic is spelled with a C and a K, so it must be legit. Oh, come on. These are very important and very rare books. Thank you. Why are witchcraft books always so creepy? Creepy's the reason I'm in university. Yeah, parapsychology. I could see you getting a great job at Baskin Robbins. Oh, you think so, huh? Or McDonald's. Me? At McDonald's? Oh, oh yeah, vegetarian crusader, I forgot. Yes, smartass. And I'll have you know that I've been asked to give a lecture at UCLA oh next week. Oh my god, really? That's great. I tease the hell out of you, but you know I'm proud of you. I know. You don't really believe in this stuff, do you? I put a spell on you, didn't I? Yeah, it's called Hip Huggers in a Tight T-Shirt, thank you very much. And I thought you loved me for my brains. I do, but it just so happens that brain is encased in the body of a 22-year-old blonde. I wonder if they have a love potion in here. They do, and it's called Viagra, and you don't need it. Speaking of which, why don't we christen our move in? It can be fun. On the couch? Oh, Steve, the car trunk. Ooh, the car trunk, no, kinky. No, my stuff is in the car with the trunk open. <sighs> Crap. But I could go get that while you open a bottle of wine and put on some music. I could do that. Okay. And can you call the super about the water pressure? Because you know that I love my showers. Already called. And I love you. I love you more. I want us to be together for a very long time. For eternity? Eternity would be a very long time, yeah. It's already done. You're joking, right? Yeah, Steve, I'm joking. And I only study ancient magic. I don't really practice it. Well, you don't look like a witch. Thanks. Although that chick from Bewitch was pretty cute, the way she wiggled her nose, that was sexy. Well, I can wiggle. Just not my nose. Well, get wiggling then.
shit, I always do that. What the hell? Jesus Christ. It's okay, honey. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you mad at me? Is that why you're not talking? It's okay, honey. We'll just, we'll just. Oh, okay. Um, I think you broke your back, honey. Damn it! Don't die, Amy. I don't want to lose you. I won't lose you. It's all right, honey. I'm gonna make everything better. All right? Okay, you're gonna have to help me on this one. I hope if this was written in normal fucking English. Okay, raising the dead. All right, should be pretty straightforward. Okay. Okay. I call upon the spirits of the ancient dead, the energy of the living, and the light and darkness of the earth, to rise as one and enter this union. I call upon Zav Zavid and Boyfed both to join me as one power. Hello? You called? You're not what I expected. Yeah, well, after the second baby, I kind of let myself go. I'm sorry? I'm Gary on the super. You called about the water pressure? Right. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Um. Now isn't really a very good time. Well, that's not the only reason I'm here, actually. Yeah? You were down in the parking garage earlier? Um, maybe earlier, yeah. Yeah, well, there's uh, blood and broken glass all over the place down there. Oh, that is a mystery. Actually, it isn't. There's a trail of blood that leads right to your door. Oh, um, yeah, my girlfriend. She she cut her hand earlier. Girlfriend? Jesus, is she all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll, she'll live. Hopefully. Hopefully? Uh, it's a joke. <laughs> right. Well, while I'm here, I might as well check the water uh, You know what? It's not a good time. Uh, she's really not feeling very well. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow works. Right. Right, so tomorrow then. Thanks, thank yeah. you. Thank you, bye. I'm so sorry, baby. I don't know what I'm gonna do without you. Yes, hi. Uh, there's been an accident. Yeah, I was in my car and I, I ran over my girlfriend. Well, into her, then over her. Yeah, she's dead. Yeah, okay. Um, 400 Draper Avenue. Okay, thanks. Oh, hold on a second, honey. I'm on the phone. Woo! She's feeling much better. Sorry to have bothered you. Bitch. Hello? What? No, no, I'll be there in a minute. A phone call. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, okay, no, I'm coming. Alright. Oh 
my god, it worked! Baby, are you okay? Can you hear me? Honey, if you can hear me, give me a sign. <laughs> yes? Look, I don't mean to be a pain in the ass, but I just got a call from the cops. Cops? Yes, the police. They called about a woman being run over. Really? Really. Don't you find that kind of odd? It's odd. Um, but like I say, everyone here's accounted for. Yeah, well, you mind if I just check for myself? You can't go in there, my girlfriend's sleeping. Oh, uh, sorry to bother you. Are you all right, Mist? Painkillers. Right. Ugh, Jesus. Are you sure she's gonna be okay? Yeah, she just has a sore neck, that's all. So, as you can see, we're all accounted for. Oh, uh, yeah. Must have, uh... Must have been a prank call. Yeah, well, you know, Halloween's only uh, three months away. What? I'm gonna check the plumbing while I'm here. No, no, it's, uh, it's, please, it's really not a good time. Suit yourself. Honey, how are you feeling? Hollywood. Okay, honey, we just need to get out of town for a few days. Then you can get some rest and you'll be yourself in no time. Oh, honey, don't eat the shower curtain. My mother gave that to me. We gotta get out of here. Work a lot better if you could walk normally. Why can't you say anything? Oh, great. Except for that. Hmm. The motor neurons to the brain must be all screwed up. Because you have no nerve impulses, the message just simply isn't getting through. Hmm, it's really quite fascinating when you think about it. Get in here. Sorry. The door. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry. Sit up here. Get up. Oh, here we go. Good girl. Now we'll buckle you up. Safety first. Move that. All right. You good? Okay. We can go to Bob's cabin until I figure out what to do. He's away on business, so we'll have the whole cabin to ourselves. You remember Bob's cabin? You liked it there. We used to sit out on the deck and the sun would be setting. Of course, things were a lot different then. You still look good. I mean, we can comb out your hair. We could, we could try some blush. So you can understand me? Can you try saying something? Can you try English? Anything besides hungry? Okay, I'll stop by Burger Hut and get us some burgers. What do you say? Thanks so much for being a vegetarian. I got you the combo. You might want to go slow because your body's not used to meat. Actually, that one's mine. I don't think you like pickles. Or foam containers.
should be okay here. Good thing I knew where I was going. Hungry? Yeah, so you keep telling me. All right. So we have enough food for about a week. I'll go into town tomorrow. Jesus Christ, Amy! Oh. Oh, I see you're getting a taste for meat. Oh, I'm so not sleeping with you. Hungry! Bella Gossi was born in. Hungry! The worst hockey team in the world can be found in. Hungry! You're good. All right. Let's get this started. All right. So I mustn't have finished the spell or I did it wrong or something. So I brought you back, but only partially. We'll hang out here for a while, just until we get everything figured out, and then things will be just like they used to be. You know how much I love you. Hey, no eating me. Got it? Why was it so easy? All I did was read a couple of lines. Can't be that easy. I didn't do anything at all, did I? It was you. You and that damn book of spells. Nothing I did made any difference. Nothing I can do will make any difference. I want us to be together for a very long time. Eternity would be a very long time, yeah. It's already done. Oh, gross. Hungry. Baby, I wish you could say something else besides that. Why didn't you tell us you were coming up, you prick? What are you guys doing here? We always come up when Bob's away. Where's the Amster? Resting. Peacefully. Well, get her up. We got some partying to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, I forgot my pot. Uh, we thought we'd come up here and get away, you know, where it's quiet. <laughs> Fuck that. Well, you've got
got her barking like a dog. Mmm, kinky. <laughs> no, no, we, uh, we, we got a dog. Where is it? Gone. Gone? Yeah, it, it got off the leash, ran away, and uh, never came back. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Maybe we should go look for it. No, it'll, it'll come back when it's hungry. Yeah, well, let's get drinking, huh? Amen to that. I'll get Amy up. A few shots will fix her. No! She has a migraine. Oh, my mom gets those. Those can be nasty. Yeah, they can be very nasty. Oh, well, at least let me say hi. No, why don't I go see how she is, and I'll tell her you say hi. <laughs> well, she's your girlfriend. Tell her that we're making B-52s. They're her favorite. I'll be sure to tell her. OK, just give me a second. Amy? Amy? She's not feeling well. Better to just let her rest. Well, I guess she's feeling better. Um, didn't you just say she wasn't feeling better when you saw her in her bedroom like two seconds ago? Well, yeah, but she just went out the window to get some air. Uh-huh. She didn't want you guys to see her looking the way she did. She walked right past us. Without saying hello, I might add. Yeah, well, she's on strong painkillers, so she's a little whacked out. <laughs> Not her usual self. Uh, no uh, windows in the kitchen, Steve? <sighs> I better go see if she's OK. They're one strange couple. Yeah, honey, don't worry. We'll be sure and save you some B-52s. Steve? Yeah. Amy's in the living room. Is she? Yeah, buddy. Hmm. You OK? I thought I saw her outside. And you thought she was asking you to save her some B-52s? I could use a drink. Yeah. Um, no offense or anything, Amy, but you just look like shit today. <laughs> but you know what? It's probably, yeah, it's probably just the, the lighting. How's your head, sweetie? You just, you look a little pale. Do you want to eat something? Um, hey, how about a, a toast to the weekend? I'm in for that. Yeah, I am all about doing a shot. Here's to uh, friends, both living and dead, and those in between. <laughs> a joke. <laughs> oh, oh, man. That was cool. Say that again. Uh -oh. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, my God. oh my God, this was my new camping skirt. Oh, I'm going to be shit. sick. <laughs> Patty, go jump in the lake. It's the only way you're going to get that stuff off of you. Oh, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Patty, I'm so sorry, but she's... Shit. Amy. 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 This is generally where a cat would jump out. I think there's something more than just a headache wrong with Amy. I mean, did you see her? She looked like she was on crack. 
I've seen crackheads before and they look just like that. They're all bent out of shape looking and pale. Oh. Patty, if I were you, I would seriously consider throwing that away. Fucking reeks. Uh, Patty? Patty? Where'd you go? Hey, <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Don't do that. You didn't happen to see Amy. Your girlfriend's wandering through the woods and you're sitting here smoking a joint? Panama Red, dude. Ooh, gimme. Patty? Don't fuck around! Patty! Anyone? Carl? Steve? Carl? Steve? Amy, are you decent? Hmm. <laughs> what? Perfect. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Jesus, Amy! Don't do that! Are you okay? Man, are you ever fucked up? You gotta give me some of those painkillers are on. You want a beer? It's because there's no light pollution. That one's Orion. You can tell because of the three little stars that make up his belt. <laughs> you hear something? No. Nope. You? No. Nope. Uh, what's really going on between you and Amy? Oh, fuck. Amy. Oh, fuck, Amy! Jeez, go get the girls. Go get Vanessa and get Patty. Well, get her when she's cleaned off. What? Out there? Yeah, out there. Go get the girls, bring them back to the cottage. Oh. Go! Uh, all right. Well, where the hell are you going? I'm going to grab a beer. No, grab a beer after you get the girls. <laughs> Who died and made you boss? <laughs> What are we, 12? Just go get the girls. All right. Patty, Vanessa, hello. Patty, Vanessa, anybody? Amy, Jesus Christ, what are you doing to Ziggy? Amy, shoot, get away. Get away. Oh, gross. Oh. Ziggy, Ziggy. Ziggy! Zig? Oh, fuck. Ah! Oh, just relax, it's just me. Oh. I got lost. Uh, you were like 50 feet from the cottage. Hey, where's Patty? I don't know. She was walking in front of me and then she just freaked out and she disappeared. Is she down by the lake? If I could find the fucking lake, I might know. Okay, chill out. I'm just asking. Patty? Patty? I've been calling her forever. She's not going to answer. Hmm. Yeah, something's wrong, Carl. What, with Patty? No. Something's wrong because you're high and I'm not. Oh, right. 
Iya. Hmm. Fucking creepy around here, huh? Oh, there she goes. Patty! Let's get mm -hmm. out of here. Gotta make sure it's wet. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's get out of here. Where am I gonna put you? Do you have any idea what kind of situation you put me in? Ziggy, you bag of dirt, where are you? Where is everyone? Whoa, Jesus. Uh, what the hell's going on here? I know what's going on. You do? You beat her. The blood, the vacant stare, she's afraid to speak. It's all the classic signs I watched spring. You're right. I I beat her. Steve? I can't help it. She just pisses me off. Where's Ziggy? We had a fight. Uh, I was yelling at Amy. He got mad and took off. You bastard. Yes, I need help. OK, whoa. You, <laughs> Steve, beat Amy. Come on. <laughs> I don't believe it. They, you won't even put a worm on a hook. Well, that's different. Uh, worms don't talk back. What? OK, yeah, I, I don't know what the hell's going on here, but I'm grabbing another beer. Why, why don't we all get another beer? Are you OK, sweetie? Duh. What have you done to her? Well, why don't we all just get another drink, relax, and I'll explain everything. So, everyone settled? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we're still missing Ziggy. And Patty? Patty's missing too? Yes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you gonna blame that on her too now, Steve? Look, I'm not blaming anything on... Hey! Zigmeister! Holy shit. Ziggy. What the hell happened to you? It must have been your dog. What dog? The dog you said you had, but it got away. Oh, the dog! Right. Yeah, bad, bad dog. Don't go near him. Why? The rabies. Oh, my God. Hey, is that the thing where you get the needles in the stomach? Yes, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, well, fuck that, Zig. You're on your own. Well, we can't just let him stand there bleeding. I don't know. It's not that bad. Is rabies contagious? I think that's the whole fucking point. Oh, hey, wait, wait just hang on a second. Bobble shit if we get blood all over the place. Oh, yeah, we can't have that. Guys, we just, we have to get him to a hospital. Uh, Steve, I think that stuff hanging out of his throat actually might be his uh, esophagus. I don't think so. Is, is that duct tape? Yeah, why does he have duct tape around him? Did your dog do that too, Steve? Yeah, it's a border collie. A very clever dog, actually. I once saw one herd about 100 sheep and... Steve. Yeah. Fuck off with the dog stories. We have to get Ziggy to the hospital. Oh, I don't know. It's not that bad. Once we clean him up, maybe he'll need a few stitches, some stitches, some reconstructive surgery, and he'll be fine. Hunger. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you hungry, sweetie? Hunger. Here, Zig. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Zig. Um, I don't know if he can eat properly. Uh, I say we let him try. 
We have to find Patty. She'll know what to do. Patty's a nurse? No. But she always watches those shows, you know, with all those cute doctors. Oh. Oh, well then. Yeah. Well, while she's at it, she might as well treat my ulcers. You have ulcers? Yeah. You work in a brewery. Yeah, it's very stressful. Okay, that's it. I'm calling the police. There's something seriously wrong here. Yeah, Steve, listen, man. Uh, I may be really high, but even I know when this is a little too freaky. Okay, look, I'll find Patty, and you guys stay here, and then we'll bring Ziggy to the hospital. Oh, well, probably have time for another beer then. Or not. You guys stay here and make sure they don't go anywhere. Where is he going to go, Steve? He's half dead. Don't go near them. What the hell is that for? The dog. Oh, good thinking, Steve. Thanks. You take care of them and don't let them leave. Yeah, I'm on it. Jeez. First Amy's a zombie, then Ziggy, now Patty. Worst moving day ever. I have to do it. It's the only answer. I'll just tell him uh, she was lost. Uh, it was dark. Yeah. Have some trouble, dude? What? Oh, uh, yeah. Was it the dog? Dog? The dog that got away? Oh, right, the, the, the German Shepherd. Uh, Border Collie, wasn't it? W whatever. Was it? Kind of hard to tell in the dark. Did you see Patty? Hmm? Patty, did you see her? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did see her. Where is she? Most of her is down by the lake. Most of her? Uh, where's Amy and Ziggy? Well, I, I don't know. Ziggy's in the house. I don't know, or left, and Amy, she's, I don't know. You let them leave? Well, what did you want us to do, tie them up? Yes, that's exactly what I wanted you to do. I tried to tell them not to go, that when you got back, we would take Ziggy to the hospital. Look, Ziggy and, well, Amy, Amy's not exactly who you think she is. I told you, I told you she is a stripper, right? No, she's, why would you think she's a stripper? Well, she's always out at night and she's in all that black magic stuff. The way she dresses. She goes to night school. That's when night school takes place at fucking night. Don't yell at me. Look, Amy had an accident. I kind of ran her over. What do you mean you kind of ran her over? Yeah, well, I was going to go get some wine, and I backed up in the car, and I didn't know she was behind it, and I hit the wall, and, well, look, it doesn't matter how I ran her over. Uh, Steve, wouldn't she be dead? Amy's dead. And Ziggy, too. Then who was that? Amy. I thought you said that Amy was dead. Look, she should be, but... She messes around with all this black magic stuff, and she did some kind of spell that if anything happened to her, she'd come back. And I, I think she did the same thing to me, but look, look it doesn't matter. Just, she's a zombie, all right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoa. Okay. I may be stoned. Oh, which I am. But even I know this is a little too freaky, man. She attacks Ziggy, and that's why he's the way he is. I thought you said your dog attacked Ziggy. Look, we don't have a fucking dog, okay? Amy attacked him. Do you think that Amy, if Amy was okay, she'd be walking around the way she does? And do you think that Ziggy would be walking around with his stomach hanging out? So, Ziggy's dead? Yes. Patty? Uh, yeah, Patty's dead too. Amy attacked her. Look, all you need to know is that Patty's dead, okay? Okay. If Amy's dead, 
uh, as you say she is, why would she be going around attacking people? I don't know. It must be primal instincts. Eating, hunting, feeding. But why would somebody become a zombie, as you say, after being attacked by Amy? That's a really good question. Look, I, I don't fucking know, okay? Look, Steve. We've been friends since public school, right? You guys went to public school together. Well, he got held back a few years. A, a few times. I, listen, if you swear on our friendship right now, if you swear, Steve, to me right now, then I'll believe you. Carl, I swear on our friendship. Nessa, get your shit together. We're getting the hell out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. You are so dead when we get out of here. Well, that's what we're trying to avoid. Hey, man, she, uh, she wasn't freaking out that much. Yeah, I know. Oh, shit. What? The keys. Oh, man, Patty has them. I'll go get them. No, I'll go with you. No, you stay here. Stay with Vanessa, and I'll be back in five minutes. Okay. Oh, Steve. Oh. Sorry. Jesus. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I... Who the hell throws an axe? I, I got caught up in the moment. I... You don't throw an axe. All right, I'm sorry, all right? Just go get the goddamn keys. Jesus Christ. Throwing an axe. Hey, Zig, you didn't happen to come across any keys, did you? Vanessa! Vanessa! Oh, shit. Vanessa! Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I can see that. Ah! <laughs> 
Steve, stop! Kill her! Kill her! I can't! Steve! Steve, you've got to kill her! No! Would you do it? If, if it was me? Uh, I don't know it. Oh. No, I. What are you doing? Steve, what are you doing? Get out of here, Carl! Yeah. Oh, you stupid bastard. Go! Hurry! Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Oh, look. Uh, any luck with the keys? I know this is a bad thing. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay. Oh. Out there. Are you there? You guys wondering if you can give me a hand, I'm kind of lost.
Hi, I'm Brett Kelly. And I'm Caitlin Delaney. Now, we sure had a lot of laughs making this movie. <laughs> we sure did, Brett. But car safety is no laughing matter. That's right. All of the tragedy could have been avoided in this movie if you performed a simple circle check. That's true. Um, the character that Caitlin played was run over because I didn't perform this simple check. 
but you, should, you can avoid this at home if you can just walk around your car and make sure there's no obstructions. This has been a public service announcement from Brett Kelly. Caitlin Delaney. Play safe. Have a safety day. <laughs> Have a safety day. <laughs> <laughs>